Hello friends, today I'll discuss about one and half breaker system and its advantages. So before going through this video, you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. So what does the one and half breaker uh, system means? Uh, it is basically in between two main bus uh, that is main bus one and main bus two three beakers are connected uh, and uh, there are two types of uh, configuration one is i type configuration and one is uh, d type configuration i type configuration is uh, shown in the left side of the figure and d type configuration has been shown in the right side of the figure uh, so feeder one and feeder two uh, is connected uh, in between main bus and main bus 2 uh, for this kind of system has been shown uh, for both the configuration uh, now how does the feeder one uh, will get uh, power uh, so there are uh, two paths uh, one is uh, via main bus 1 and another is main bus 2 so via main bus 1 feeder 1 can uh, cater power through circuit breaker 1 uh, which is towards the uh, location of main bus 1 uh, being closed. Again, uh, feeder 1 can cater the power uh, through main bus 2 via uh, circuit breaker towards the main bus 2 side that is CB3 and uh, the middle CB that is CB2 uh, being closed. Uh, similarly, how does the feeder 2 can get uh, power? So there are two options, one from main bus 2 and another from main bus 1. From main bus 2, feeder 2 can cater power uh, through CB3 uh, in close position. CB3 means the circuit breaker towards the main bus 2 uh, side. Again, uh, feeder 2 can also cater power through main bus 1. In this case, uh, CB1 and CB2 must be in close positions. I have not shown uh, the isolator positions here uh, for ease of understanding. Uh, now feeder 1 and feeder 2 are ru in running condition. In that case, uh, all the three circuit breakers are uh, in closed positions. Now feeder 1 power uh, should be interrupted for maintenance purpose of the feeder 1. That is shutdown of the feeder 1 is to be taken. In that case, uh, CB1 and CB2 uh, should be switched off. Similarly, we can uh, take shutdown of the feeder 2 or interrupt the power through feeder 2 uh, by switch stop uh, CB2 and CB3. Uh, so switching operation of feeder 1 and feeder 2 are controlled by 3 circuit breaker uh, and uh, via main bus 1 and main bus 2. Since uh, 2 feeders are controlled by 3 circuit breaker, uh, that is why this system is called one and half breaker system. So in this uh, one and half breaker system, CB1 and CB3 are the main bus side uh, circuit breaker. CB1 is called the main bus one side circuit breaker and CB3 is called main bus three side circuit breaker. And portion to which uh, portion in between feeder one and uh, main bus one is called the main um, bay for feeder one again uh, portion between feeder two and main bus two is called main bay for feeder two and in between feeder one and uh, feeder two the portion of the bay is called tie bay and the circuit breaker connected in between feeder one and feeder two is called tie circuit breaker or tie cb uh, so in case of one and half breaker system two feeders uh, are controlled via uh, three circuit breakers for ease of understanding, I have uh, omit uh, the isolator position and uh, CT positions in this diagram. So in, in this type of system is used in case of 400 KV GI system and also 765 AI substations. So what are the advantages of one and half breaker system? Number one is uh, consider a, a circuit breaker problem in case of main bus one side uh, circuit breaker that is CB1 or maintenance uh, required for circuit breaker 1. Uh, in this case, uh, feeder 1 still get power from uh, main bus 2 via CB3 and CB2 
in on positions on, that is in close positions and again feeder 2 will get power through main bus 2 via cb3 so in this case if any circuit breaker that is circuit breaker 1 is uh, under maintenance uh, or cb problem in circuit breaker 1 feeder 1 and feeder 2 still get power from main bus 2 so there is no uh, interruption in case of feeder 1 and feeder 2 again consider uh, problem in circuit breaker uh, cb2 or tie cb or the tie cb need maintenance uh, in this case also feeder 1 and feeder 2 get power uninterruptedly feeder 1 get power through main bus 1 and cb1 in close position again feeder 2 get powers through main bus 2 uh, via cb3 in close positions uh, now consider a case that uh, circuit breaker problem in cb1 and at the same time uh, circuit breaker uh, uh, that is cb3 is under maintenance or vice versa or uh, CV problem in both the uh, main bus side uh, circuit breaker. So in that case also feeder 1 can get power uh, as a source uh, through uh, feeder 2 via circuit breaker uh, 2 or tie CV is in close positions. Now another advantage is for this uh, one and half breaker system is uh, for consider uh, bus shutdown for main bus 1 or uh, for maintenance purpose or main bus 1 outage for uh, fault in the main bus 1 side. So power through feeder 1 and feeder 2 can flow uninterruptedly. Feeder 1 power can flow uh, via main bus 2 uh, being CB3 and CB2 in close position and again feeder 2 can get uh, power through main bus 2 via CB3 in close positions. So outage of main bus 1. Uh, does not interrupt the power uh, through feeder 1 and feeder 2. Uh, now again uh, another advantages of uh, this type of system is bus shutdown for main bus 2 uh, for maintenance purpose or outage of main bus 2 due to uh, fault in the main bus uh, 2. So power through feeder 1 and feeder 2 can flow uninterruptedly via uh, main bus 1 being circuit breaker 1 and circuit breaker 2 in close position that is feeder 1 can get power through main bus 1 via cb1 in close position and feeder 2 can get power through CB, uh, main bus 1 via cb1 and tie cb in close position uh, so in terms of uh, operation point of view uh, the flexibility is more uh, that is switching operation of uh, uh, feeder 1 and feeder 2 is uh, more flexible uh, via main bus 1 and main bus 2 for in this type of system but uh, since three circuit breaker is used uh, for uh, two feeder this type of system is cost effective and again uh, the uh, there is a complexity in case of uh, protection uh, system which is used in case of one and a half breaker system so friends uh, if you like my video then do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future. Thank you for watching this video.